One of the ethical implications in the work that we do is the fact that our job is to support women and girls who are fleeing lots of things, including cultural practices. They may be fleeing female genital mutilation. They might be facing a forced marriage. They might be facing an honor crime. They might be facing domestic violence. Human trafficking, there's a long laundry list of forms of abuse against women and girls, um, which no religion, no culture, no society is immune from. And our clients represent the gamut of that. But often people will say to me, what are you doing involving yourself in these issues? And I think that's an ethical question for us. Um, now, in some ways, I have a cop-out answer to that, which is that I'm just the lawyer. And so what we do um, at its core is serve the needs of our clients. Our clients have decided for themselves. We didn't go to their country. We didn't go into their house. We didn't go into their neighborhood and tell them what they should think or what they should be OK with or not OK with. That wasn't our job. Our job was to be there when they decided that for themselves, to support them in whatever way they define support and what they need. And so for example, uh, we had a client who was in our office who was there because she wanted protection for her daughters who were going to be subjected to the same female genital mutilation that she had been subjected to as a young child. And so as a mom, she decided that this would end for her family, for her girls, and something that had gone on for generations and generations and generations. She decided would stop there. But we also noticed that she came in regularly with bruises on her face. And sometimes she had bruises on her arm. And we said to her, you know, if you are not happy at home, if you are being beaten up, in the United States we have laws to protect you. We happen to have lawyers here who can help you. We have social workers who can help you access emergency housing. And her answer to us was, no, I deserved the beating because dinner wasn't ready on time. And I believe, as a good wife, that was my duty. I didn't follow the rules, and my husband is kind because he only beats me with his hands. It was not our job to judge that. It was our job to make sure that we talked about it with her and that we made sure she was fully aware of the resources available to her and the law available to her. But our job wasn't to judge her. Our job was, however, to help her 100% in the way uh, that she wanted us to for the thing that she came to us for. Now, people will ask what they think is an ethical question around cultural relativism that goes beyond the answer I just gave. Um, and I think it has to do, I think people confuse the question, frankly. People will ask the question very broadly, um, how can you be involved in that because it's a different culture? But they're not clear even, I think, on their own question. And I'd like to divide it for you into three questions. I think kind of that visceral cultural relativist question really is three sub-questions under it. The first question is, should we care? Should we care about what's happening to people? In other countries, in other cultures, who are a part of other religions, we don't really know and don't really understand. Should we care? The next question is, should we do anything about it? So I mean, there's an argument that you could say, yes, I care on some philosophical level. There are some, by the way, who will say, I don't. That's not my business, and I don't care. I think most people aren't saying that, though. I think most people care. But the next question, then, is should we do anything about it? If you have answered yes to the first two questions, yes, I care, and yes, I want to do something about it, there's a third question that's very important that I think is the real question people get hung up on which is then what can I possibly do? And I think, unfortunately, that last question is veiled in the should we care question, or should we do anything about it? Um, I believe as a world citizen, we should care, and we should do something. But I do think there's a very legitimate conversation to be had around what to do about it. And I don't claim to know the answer to that.